Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd do a, a video on my home network um, and the servers that I have. First of all, at the top we have this TP-Link network switch. Below that we have a KVM where we can switch between the servers, as you can see. First server we have is it our Power Edge R710? And on this server, we have two SSDs in RAID 0 and six hard drives in RAID 5. And it has 144 gigabytes of uh, RAM and two Intel X5460s, sorry, not X5460s, X5690s which are the 6 core 12 threads. This has the X5460s in it, my mistake. Um, below that we have an R210 generation 2, um, which is actually my router, uh, which is running PS Sense, um, so I can get real-time antivirus, anti-DDoS protection, you know, all that stuff. Although I'm not really putting myself out on the internet in a way where I could be attacked, or well, hopefully not in a way. Um, so I'll show you behind the rack one thing to note though this network switch is crap if you're getting into home networking beware of this switch do not buy one they get extremely hot and they burn out network ports and uh, just don't and there's a fan running here blowing into the vent to keep this thing cool because I kid you not if that fan's there you will not even put your hand on top of that if it's under load it's that hot as you can see there with that fan there it's stone cold so TP-Link all they had to have done was added a small fan to it and it would have been fine like most decent network switches have and as you can see, to the network cables. It could be a little bit neater. Up the top, we have an, uh, a Wi Fi um, access point, which is where we get our Wi Fi from, because obviously the servers don't have Wi Fi built into them. <clears throat> Further down here, we have the R710, which as you can see, it has a graphics card in it. I'll explain further why this server has a, a graphics card in it. Below that you have Nick Team and Failover and no balancing going on there. And then that is the R210 Generation 2 server, which is the router. And then we have this old Generation 3 2950, excuse me, which is um, not used anymore because it's just too noisy and we just use it for backup purposes only um, because this thing when I when I say it's noisy I'm not kidding you it's noisy it's unbelievable um, and it draws horrific amounts of power um, for example if you would like to look on the watts meter if the gimbal will stay still you can see we're drawing 260 270 watts But beware of your ears because this thing is monumentally loud. And now we'll have a look at the power drill. Nearly 600 watts, 600 and you can see it's sort of bouncing between 550. It will idle at about five, seven, six hundred. So it's incredibly inefficient this server, and it's just not worth using on a day-to-day -day basis. This is our uh, office stroke gaming room, and this is obviously my computer here. And this is obviously the remote desktop for my client, and as you can see. You can get close enough without it being uh, blurry and horrible. There we go. You can see all the software that is on this machine, the full Adobe Suite, Office, 
and a few other things and I just use it for making YouTube videos and talking to my friends on TeamSpeak. That's basically what I use it for. Also has a full Plex library. So it's also a, a, a Plex server as well. So you can watch all your movies and stuff on all the TVs in the house. More importantly, my partner is a university student. So, this is my partner's computer. And uh, my partner's uh, studying to be a quantity surveyor. So, my partner needs all this software like AutoCAD. And this is the reason why there's a graphics card in that server. Because these softwares will not run without dedicated graphics on the onboard. GPU is just useless, you know, it's for basically just monitoring and just viewing the systems when they're running. Um, and as you can see, my partner has all the same software as me, apart from obviously I don't use this CAD software, which I don't even know how to use, because it's a very, very complicated um, software, but of course you've got Adobe Premiere. going to open. I think it may have crashed actually. Oh, that's there it goes. It does take a little while to open Adobe Premiere. And it does have a CUDA acceleration as well because of the NVIDIA graphics card that is in the server. <clears throat> and the uh, specifications of the server. As you can see, the power saving is switched on, so it's only clocking at the minute to 2 GHz, but it will clock all the way up to 3.7, or the base clock is 3.4, but it will clock up to 3.7 GHz. As you can see, there's 12 cores and 24 threads there. As you can see, there's 144 gigs of memory, which is just absolutely massive overkill, and we can't even fill up, you know, 8 GB of it, no matter what we actually do with the server. If I come back over to my desktop computer, sorry about the blur. Come on, focus. You see there's a network switch under there, which is hooked up to the server downstairs, and that actually gets better local file transfer speeds than that big network switch that's actually in the rack, which I'm going to change to a Dell Power Connect, um, because it is just, it is a very bad network switch, that one down there. For Christ's sake, do not ever buy one. But if I, uh, I want to open this, so I will show you the GUI of the uh, PS Sense router. Okay, I'm going to remove that because I don't want you seeing the outside IP address for obvious reasons. But this is the uh, the GUI for the PFSense router, as you can see, it has many, many statistics, full specifications of the uh, server that's actually running off it, temperatures and CPU usage. Um, and if you want a kick ass router for a really low price, I paid about £120 for that R220 Generation 2. Um, and there are so much services and security features. You can run real-time antivirus with PFSense. So I hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And if you'd like to see a teardown of my servers, obviously with the lid off and see what's actually inside these machines, please just leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to upload that video for you.